Shalom. Giving all praise and glory to the most high power of every amazing day. He's worthy to be praised for everything as always. I'm going to start with Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all. Baha Shama Mashiach Kevashah. Giving thanks to the most high power. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, who are Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Naphtali, and Issachar, all twelve tribes of Israel. That's what we say, the power of Israel. Give thanks to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, these words be praised for everything. So I've been dealing with our protection against demons in high places. So I want to continue with this topic. Hopefully you've been taking notes or you've been paying attention, whichever means you can. And I'll stop with the fact that um, Matthew, go to Matthew the seventeenth chapter, and we're going to examine some things because it's very important. Because we're looking at, you know, some things are not privileged to everyone, even though you think, you know, you are privileged to everything. So we're going to look at this. Matthew 17, and we're going to start at um, verse um, 14. We're going to concentrate on verse 21. Matthew 17 and 14. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, so this man came to him, and he's kneeling down to him, Mashiach Yahweh, just what he said to him. Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Master, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic, and so vexed, for often time he followed into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. This man a lunatic, Right? So he said he brought him to his disciples, and they could not cure him. Right? I mean, he's out of his mind. What they call have total mental illness. What they call bipolar. You know, in this world, they got different names they call for people that have spirits in them. They got spirits. And they got spirits. These spirits in high places, they can jump from one person to the next person. If you're not in the spirit... Of knowing how to be totally with the most high. By how some of myself that was shy. Understand, you can see this. And I brought him to thy disciples, verse 16, he said, and they could not cure him. So you're trying to get rid of these demons and play people, these devils and people, right? Then the Mashiach was shy answered and said it, verse 17. Oh, faithless and pervert, perverse, excuse me, generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither. Bring him over here to me. That's what he said. Bring him over here to me. And the Mashiach said, rebuke the devil. See? See, people don't realize when they off in their mind with all these mental illnesses that they rolling with the devil. That's why I said we got to look at our, how we be protected from these demons in high places. Because people have devils in them and they accept them as being normal where this man's uh realized that his son was a lunatic crazy as ever got people around here i mean they're on drugs they've been on drugs they're doing whatever you could think of you know and some people have illnesses that they can't help that they have but they're still a lunatic as this man was his son was and the master shall rebuke the devil. Hear that? Rebuke the devil. So these people have devils in them. Or a devil. Like Legion was 20, what, what, two, 20 hundred? There was like 2,000. Legion was 2,000 devils in one man. So he rebuked the devil. And he departed out of him. And the child was cured that very hour. So it's a child that had the devil in him. So don't get it twisted. This child had the devil in him. A lot of our children have that devil in them. You know? Tell me about Israelites. He rebuked the devil that was in the child, and the child was cured that very hour. 
Then came the disciples to a Mashiach Yahweh Shai apart. Where everybody left. They asked him a question and said, What? Why could we not cast him out? Right? They asked him, said, Why couldn't we cast him cast him out? Since he came to us first, and we did everything we do to do to cast him out, but we couldn't do it. Understand this, overstand this. For all you that's dealing with people that have mental illnesses or a lunatic. Then came the disciples to a Mashiach of Shia Park and said, Why could we not cast him out? Cast him out. Why could we couldn't cast him out? Why could not we cast him out? And the Mashiach of Shia said to them, Because ye, because of your unbelief, but your unbelief, not having enough faith in the Most High. But verily, truly, I said to you, if you had faith, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, and the mustard seed is so small, you can fit it on your baby fingernail that's starting to grow. It's real. It's tinier than a, a grain of rice. If you had faith of as a grain of mustard seed, he said, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be moved, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You see that? Because you roll it with the most high. Ain't nothing impossible with the most high. This is what it said, verse 21. So he given a solution of how to get rid of evil spirits, right? How to get rid of devils that's in people. This is what he said. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. I'll read you again. How be it, this kind, someone that's a lunatic dealing with devils, or devil in them, how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting, right? So that's a solution of how to get rid of evil spirits of people. You got to pray and fast, pray and fast. And your faith got to be strong. You got to believe in the most high. How you going to believe in the most high one that you don't even talk about? You even, you even really, until he do something for you, then I'll praise the most high. Hallelujah. And you ain't got no conversation about him. But yet still, you believe in him. Remember what the Master Shai said, how you believe in him, and you have nothing to say about him either. Except for whenever you do something, or by some of my Shai Kabba Shai, or in the name of Jesus, or whatever, whatever name you use. However, understand this, man. This is really important. Because uh, he tells you, man, that he gonna he gonna announce you before the most high. Confess him. He said he going to confess you before the Most High. If you don't, he ain't confess you before the Most High. He's not going to confess, confess you before the Most High because you um, are not. Like, look, look at Matthew 10, 32. Just to prove my point. Whosoever, no matter who it is, Yasharala, therefore shall confess me before men, him Will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven? But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. See? So you got to look at what's your conversation. Um, are you talking about him? Is he in your conversation? Or is it all about you? your worlds and how everything got to be about you. Hmm. It's very important. It's very, very, it's very, very important, man. Look at um, Luke, the 12th chapter, verse 8. Luke, the 12th chapter, verse 8. Also I say unto you, Whosoever shall confess me before men, you got a conversation about them, and what you have learned concerning them, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High. But he that denieth me before the men shall be denied before the angels of the Most High. That's serious. 
Because the angels are on this earth <laughs> waiting for the commandment of the Most High to do his will. You got angels ready for vengeance. So, going back to my point in how to get rid of it. He told you no man comes to follow but by him. And there's no New Testament. There's only the law and the prophets when you walk the earth. When you read John's, any of these statements that he's making, if they went to the synagogue, I want you to tell me that they opened up the book of Revelation when they went to the synagogue, when he walked the earth in the flesh. Oh, you need Peter's right. Peter learning right. He's a disciple. Learning to be an apostle. James, any of the apostles, they all learning when he's in the flesh. That's why they couldn't, they couldn't cast him out. But once they received the Holy Spirit, in Acts the second chapter, then they had power. They had spiritual power. But they had learned from him. And he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. You see? And he came in Acts the second chapter 1. So that, therefore, when they was rolling, they was rolling through the power of the Most High. Baal Shalom, Mashiach, Shai. We're going to see all this. And we're going to see how these religions, and if you read in certain Bibles, you'll never know how to cast out evil spirits. Let me prove it to you. Matter of fact, I don't like to say something. I can't prove it. I got it right here. Let's go to the Jehovah's Witness Bible, the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. In Matthew, the same story we just read in Matthew concerning the lunatic, the man's son who's a lunatic, crazy as ever, and having all kinds of problems. Um, with his help. So, here in the New World Translation, this is Jehovah's Witness Bible. That's why I said these religions are not dealing with the truth. So here, here it is right here. It says, um, we'll look at, because we heard the story already. We read it. So, Matthew 17 and 20, it says, he said to them, because of your, of your little faith, because they asked him, why couldn't we cast out the devil that was in this man's son? This is the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures, right? It says in verse 20, let's read the King James Version first. It says, and my shepherd shall say unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you, right? So here in the Jehovah Witness Bible, the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures, we read verse 20. It says, he said to them, because of your little faith, which is true. Your unbelief is little faith. For truly I said to you, if ye have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, transfer from here to there. And it will transfer and nothing will be impossible for you. Now, verse 21 in the King James 611 Bible says, How be it, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Isn't that a solution? He giving you a solution of how to get rid of devils. He said through prayer and fasting, right? Here in verse 21, hmm, in the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures, there's nothing there. Look. You see it? You see it for yourself. There's nothing there. It's a line drawn through it. So reading this Bible, you will never know all that. How to get rid of evil spirits. Because it's crashed out. Now, I have another Bible here. Since we're looking at Bibles. And we're dealing with spirits in high places. Keeping you off. This is the Good News Bible. With, uh, it says... Deuteron Deuteronomy Canonicals slash Apocrypha in it, right? So let's see what it says. Matthew 17 and 20. It says, this is it. You can see it here. See it? Matthew 17 and 20. It was because you do not have enough faith. Answered Yahweh Shot. I assure you that if you have faith as big as a mustard seed, you can say to this hill, go from here to there, and it will go. You could do anything, okay? 
That's verse 20. Now show me where you see verse 21 at. Where's 21 at? Where's 21 at? Do you see it? It's not there. Do you see it? It's not there. That's why I say, you know, these are the things you're looking at. Why would they take how to get rid of evil spirits, devils, out of the Bible? Because they want you to get rid of them. <laughs> okay? Let's look at another one. Uh, Matthew, since we're in Matthew, go to Matthew 18 and 11. It says, Matthew 18 and 11, it says, For the Son of Man, who was a Mashiach Devashah, is come to save that which was lost. Right? So, here, in the Good News Bible, it says, Hmm, you look. Son of man, uh oh, 